Jason Ruth Miller. I'm 80 years old. It wasn't that hard to do. <laughs> and I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Yeah, I stand before you, barely shaking, my underwear dry. <laughs> and the reason I'm in such good shape is because I don't do what you do all night. I sleep. <laughs> And I don't have anybody with a full diaper and a runny nose expecting me to bake him cookies and tell him I love him because I divorced him. <laughs> but actually, actually the reason I'm in such good shape is because of my attitude. Always remember this, people. Attitude is everything, right? Yeah. I got my attitude from my mother, uh, which is why I've been in therapy for 75 years. <laughs> my mother had a Jewish mother. Who has a Jewish mother here? Anybody have a Jewish mother? It's a couple of liars here. You have a Jewish mother? Yeah. Jewish mother is the kind of person whose jewelry is real and the orgasms are fake. That's a Jewish mother. <laughs> and my mother yelled at my father so much that when she died, he thought he'd gone deaf. <laughs> yeah, but my mother thought that she had very good advice for young ladies. She said, all nice girls get married. Did your mother pull that crap on you? Yeah, I know, they, they always do, don't they? They want you to suffer like they did. Anyhow, she said, all nice girls get married, but ladies, present company excluded, have you looked at our choices? Have you know, There are two kinds of men. Actually, in Brighton, there are three. <laughs> the kind, they're the kind that smoke Marlboros and don't wear condoms and beat their wives. I married one of those. I did indeed. And I can still remember his throwing me across the bed and smacking me and saying, I can't do it. I can't do it. And I said, can't do what? He said, I can't grow a mustache. And I said, never mind. I can. <laughs> These days when there's a hair on my shoulder, it's attached to my chin. That's just the way it is. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about that guy. He was very, very little. And when my, we got engaged, my mother-in-law took me to a butcher shop and she pointed to a two-pound chicken. And she said, that's how big he was when he was born. I said, nothing much grew, did it? <laughs> he couldn't see, he used to wear these big glasses. And, and when he would go to bed, he would take off his glasses and he'd say, where are you? And I said, well, if you can find me, you can have me. And that's why I was a virgin when we were divorced. <laughs> The other husband was a Brighton kind of guy. He loved his mother, and he did your nails, and he danced in the ballet. You should have seen him in tights. It didn't do me any good. <laughs> On our wedding night, I caught him with the bellboy, and I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm showing him my pot to do. I said, why is he crying? He said, because he wanted a tip, and I gave him the whole thing. <laughs> divorce. The judge said, and this is word for word, the judge said, thank God there were no children. I said, had there been children, there would have been a second coming. And God knows there wasn't a first. And I'm Lynn Ruth Miller, and the show is not dead yet. And thank you very much.